from Columbus, Ohio. This is the Get Business Credit YouTube channel with your host, Josh Van Horn. Subscribe now and hit the bell notification right now to stay up to date as soon as we release new business credit gems. Take it over, Josh. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Josh with the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be going over uh, how to remove a collection any collections you have on your credit report. We have a special guest, Dimitri from Credit Repair Co. Uh, he's been on the channel before. I'm gonna kind of let him take it over from here, give you guys the information. I know you guys have seen him in the past. If not, check out the information in the description below and you can see his past videos as well. Anyways, go take it over, Dimitri. Nice to have you on. Uh, I appreciate the invite. Hello everybody, my name is Dimitri and I run CreditRepairCo.net. Uh, you can see the link right here below. Um, we're gonna film a few how-tos uh, with Josh and I'm gonna walk you really quickly through the process of removal of collection in this video. So um, in the end of the video, uh, we'll also uh, send you a link. Actually, you can take a look at the description of the video and you will get all this information that I'm talking about right now in the PDF format uh, because I have 30 reasons and four different tactics for you to remove collections. Okay, I'm not going to go into details because we value your time. I'm just going to give you an overview of the processes and uh, reasons um, what we use for 20 years as a credit repair company um, and how to remove collections from your credit. Yeah. Dimitri, if you can give a little background too for these videos, if you can give a little background for those that don't know you, a little background yeah, yes, about Credit Perico right, and yourself. Right. We've known each other for probably what, 15 years or so. We actually, yeah. um, I purchased a name from you, uh, CreditRepairCo.net, and uh, we've been filming before. You can go through uh, old videos on uh, on the channel to see. Um, well, well um, I'm a mortgage broker and um, real estate broker here in California. Um, and it kind of works together because everyone, like maybe half the clients that I have, they come with some sort of credit issues. So, and that's how the credit card company got started. Um, so that's pretty much about me. I don't like to talk about myself, to be honest with you, Josh. Yeah, yeah. But uh, just so you guys know, you can trust him on the information he's putting out. Uh, he has helped several get business credit and credit Josh uh, viewers that needed help with their personal credit. We're not necessarily selling credit repair services but if you do need that you can reach out to him his information is in the description below um anyways with all that being said dimitri go ahead and uh, i guess talk about the how to remove the yeah, collections let's, yeah let's get to uh let's get to it so um you can do credit repair by yourself you know you don't have to hire a credit repair company you just have to follow the process and understand how the process works so i'm going to give you four tactics on how to remove collection of your credit report. And uh, if you don't understand something or you you know, you know kind of need more information, just uh, shoot us a message uh, using the link below and I'll send you all of this information. You know, um, it will be delivered to you for free. I'm not selling anything here, all right? So let's get to it. So congrats, by the way, we have FICO 9 rolled, uh, rolled out. It's been rolled out a few, um, you know, a while ago. So what it means for you that FICO 9 will actually ignore paid collections entirely, okay? So it's pretty good when you are shopping for a car, but uh, for the mortgages, they will still see those records. Um, you know, uh, but some uh, credit, I mean, uh, credit uh, institutions also start using uh, FICO 9 formula, okay? So let's say you got a collection, you know, let's say it's a couple of years old. So what are you gonna do? Tactic number one, VOD. It stands for verification of debt, all right? So tactic number one, step one, you gotta send a VOD letter to credit bureaus. All right, that's it, that's very simple. If you need that letter, I'll, I got you. What happens, the outcome of that? It might get removed. If it doesn't get removed and you get stalled letter, say, oh, blah, 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 something, you know, that makes no sense to you, uh, and you get, you know, that style letter in the email or uh, as a, you know, in, in paper, we have the letter for you to demand the reinvestigation and, and the send, you have to send them a warning letter. All right. Dimitri, okay. isn't it best, sorry to interrupt you, but isn't it best always to have a paper trail, send it in the mail, um, yeah, for the most no, part, because you don't want to give them as much info, too much information. You kind of want to put them against the fence saying, Hey, verify or delete. 
That's what the right. is all about, you know? So the more information you send them, sometimes it's- it seems like a lot of, it seems like a, from what I've noticed, even with my own personal situations in the past, but um, a lot of my viewers too, they've had where they've done the online methods disputing with the certain credit bureaus to Experian. And it always comes back saying validated, but then I notice ones that do it by a paper trail, those have a higher chance for getting deleted. And actually we'll talk about the paper trail just in a minute, because if you get the style of response for your second step, which is reinvestigation and the warning letter, you start uh, kind of gathering the paperwork and filing a complaint with CFPB and you're going to outline those problems. And this is uh, where the paper trail will come handy. This is step three. File that uh, report with CFPB. And what you want to talk about is um, this 30 reasons, 30 reasons why, you know, uh, and you pick one of them. You kind of take a look at the way your collection is reported and you pick one of them. All right. And maybe two, maybe three, maybe you'll find 10 violations. Okay. Yeah. And I've noticed too, with the reasons you got, you have here too, I noticed uh, like Experian and others like TransUnion, they don't give you that full 30 list. They actually give you about 10 to 15 of those. So if you're disputing it by mail and you have multiples of those, which it is that way with like say Equifax, Experian and TransUnion, they can be completely off the board altogether on dates, everything, balance. Oh, yeah. In fact, they that. always are. Yeah, for example, um, first thing you want to check, have you received a notice of debt before it was sent to collection? Sometimes they don't send anything out. Maybe you moved and you've never gotten the notice of debt. Maybe the debt is not yours. That's the second one. I'm not going to go through and bore you. Right. I'll just give you a couple that are kind of common. Maybe the debt was already paid off or settled, you know, or oh, this is a big one. The collection agency is not licensed to operate in your state. How about that? Yeah, that you can verify that very easily online and see, hey, can you collect in the state of California? And you don't have a license to collect. We have no business, <laughs> you know, to transact. Maybe the amount being reported is incorrect. Next one is a big one. Maybe the debt is too old to be reported. Zombie debt. <laughs> yeah. So maybe the debt was discharged in bankruptcy, through bankruptcy. And that's where the paper trail does come in. You know, um, and all those reasons, you know, we have definitely, you know, the full list of reasons for you. So you can use in your dispute letters. OK, um, now what I want to kind of say in closing um, of this tactic, number one, the last uh, step would be paper delete. Let's say you wasted six months of your time and you send a verification of that letter. You responded to the stall letter with the reinvestigation and warning letter. You file CFPD complaint and it still got you nowhere, you can always call them up and say, hey, I'm ready to settle. Let's fix Last it. resort. In the paper per delete and still have those uh, mistakes and errors uh, written down. So you can use them as a tool when you negotiate with a collector, you know, say, look, you haven't done this. You haven't reported that correctly. So we got a problem. So help me, you know, and uh, maybe, maybe you can get away with paying like 20, 30 cents on the dollar, you know? Yeah, just to be clear, you guys, this is for collections, the the third party or second party. It's not the original creditor on that. Um, original creditors are harder to get the pay for delete. That is correct. So, and this is only tactic one. I have tactic number two, three, and four for you. All right. So, just reach out to us, and I'll send it all to you. Now, in closing, I don't want to waste too much of your time. If you do get an unexpected phone call from a debt collector, a couple of things that you kind of want to be aware of. First of all, do not admit the debt. Even if you think you recognize the debt, don't say anything. You know, don't provide your bank account information or mm. any other personal information. And always document any agreements that you reach with your debt collector. Okay? So well, wouldn't you even say don't even admit to this? Because sometimes they'll say um, when they call you, they will say, is your social security number this or that? Even if you if you say yes and it, they have the correct social, that can kind of hurt you a little bit. It's best to say, so I'm not going to. As you, def- as you can. And um, what you need to know also about statute of limitations, you know, it's very common that the collection has been sitting there reporting for years. And, you know. And multiple, multiple yeah. too. Right. Yeah. Multiple collections. Exactly. That's why, you know, sometimes clients come in. And I see the collections five, seven, ten years old, you know, sometimes. And I'm like, oh my God, 
just one letter knocks most of them out, you know? But it'll be at three different collections, sometimes like LNV funding, the, you know, there's so many different ones out there that will be reporting the same exact amount, but it's like they bought the debt, you know? Correct. And that shouldn't be allowed. Right. And that's one of the other reasons. You know, that you can put in, in your distributed letter saying, look, multiple collection agencies are being reporting my collection, you know, or that collection. So that's it. You need the info? Click on the link below. Yeah, exactly. You guys also, I think we might make a video since Dimitri brought it up. Uh, you guys definitely subscribe if you're not already a subscriber uh, to both Generals Credit Josh and Get Business Credit because I think we're going to be doing more of these videos. We got several planned that we're going to record already, but. Um, I think I'm going to pick his brain about the FICO 9 because that's a big topic. I know it's not fully used by everybody, all institutions right now, but that is where things are going. Definitely stay tuned for that because I think that's a video we're going to do very soon. Anyways, with all that being said, you guys take care. Be sure to subscribe, hit the video, thumbs up, share it to your friends, family. Dimitri, I'll give you the last words. That's it. You know, just um, me and George, we kind of uh, want to record a couple of videos on, of how to's. So um, just take a look at the different uh, video right next after this one. We're going to be talking about how to remove late payments, how to remove charge offs, how to remove student loans and even bankruptcies. So take a look at, exactly. you know, you might want to create a playlist, Josh. You know, yeah, I already have one. I already have one. But yeah, definitely. And you guys uh, stay tuned. And if you guys have any questions about personal credit for these series of videos on how to his information will be in the description below. Mine will be as well, although he is the expert on it and he can give you all the information. Plus, I think we'll have a link there where you can download the PDF and everything, okay? That being said, you guys take care. Until next time, bye.